Welcome back guys. This Kendama you see right here is called Kaizen. This is the Kendama USA Special Kaizen Edition. You can see the symbol right here. It's like a wave. Kaizen is actually a Japanese philosophy, business philosophy that is centered around continuous daily improvement. And big on this channel, we're all about the continue daily improvement, right? Let me show you guys a little, a little trick I learned just now. So we go like this, we swing it back, we catch it here, swing it around, boom, and then you catch it like that. That's actually a really hard one. So <clears throat> what I want to talk to you about real quick, I just want to show you guys some of the books that I've just picked up. And one of the ways that I like to continually self-improve and something that gives me a lot of power, it gives me a sense of power and control in my life is reading. When I don't read, I feel like I'm drifting. I spend a lot of hours here at work or I spend a lot of hours, you know, in mindless activities or with around people that I feel drained almost at the end of the day. And the one thing that keeps me tethered to the reality, to where I want to be in life, to, to thinking deeper, and to be more conscious of life itself is reading. It brings you back. It tethers you to reality. So I need that. And I ask, you know, you guys watching this channel, I really push reading a lot. And share with me your books, your favorite books, what has helped you a lot in your life. Three new books I picked up, actually four. And these just came in the mail today. Check this out. Danger and Play. We've been diving into what it means to be a man, masculinity. On the back, it's the strangest book I might have ever read, and yet it was oddly interesting. Next one says, one of the best books any man can read. Again, Danger and Play. This is by Mike Saronovic. I think he has a, he's got another book out now called Alpha Male, but he's got a blog online too. Let me check that out. And then this is actually, you can see him here, Adam Webster from Cleveland, works right next door at the Infinity dealership. This guy's, this guy's an actual level salesman. I win the salesman award like every single month, making a ton of money. Went bankrupt and back, he went into real estate, did a real estate venture and just totally failed. This book was pretty awesome. You can order this on Amazon, it just came out. The next one I got, Stephen Pressfield. Many of you guys have seen me talk about his book, The War of Art. And he also wrote The Gates of Fire, the Battle at Thermopylae with the 300 Spartans. That was amazing. And now I picked this up, The Warriors Ethos, Stephen Pressfield. And last but not least, if you've been watching this last week, I said to go ahead and pick up the book, The Way of Men. And we looked at getting down to the very core of being a man. We're designed differently than women. We were meant to be a part of a tribe, to be a part of something greater than just ourselves, not to just chase females around all day or you know, dress in the nicest clothes. We're worried about our careers. Our, our life is not meant for that. We're meant for something greater. And we've kind of been discussing that, um, kind of returning back to that more primitive, doing more manly things, taking more risks, and just stepping up. And the next book in the series is Becoming a Barbarian. And I'm only on the first chapter, but he kind of opens up again with that tribe mentality. A lot of people ask, how do I form a gang? And he kind of starts talking about that. So Becoming a bar Barbarian, really cool so far. Cool artwork, two in the front. Guys, but back to the tribe mentality. I myself lack that. Like I said, I don't have that many friends. And I really miss being around other men. Other men that help, you know, they don't lie to me and just tell me I'm good enough, but they point out my weaknesses. They tell me what I'm not good at. Maybe I'm being an asshole and they can point that out to me. Because when you're alone, you start believing your own bullshit. So if you don't have other men, and I don't, so what do I do? I turn to books. Because I need something to kind of bring me back, to sharpen me. Because I, I know for certain that if I spend too much time alone, you know, if you're spending too much time in front of the TV, video games with your woman, 
you get comfortable, you grow, you get dual. You need something that will bring you back. Iron sharpens iron, and a book will, will bring you to that place and show you your weak points, show you what you need to do. Are you on the right road? So guys, take up reading. Show me what books you are reading now. Order a few. Let me know. Let's get to it. See you soon.